Hey, collective. So this is going to be a collective reading. Collective, I don't know who this message is for, but I'm getting like you can't build an empire with somebody that always agrees with you. Like you got to have people around you that are willing to be honest with you. It's nothing wrong with like being honest with somebody or not always agreeing with them. The only issue arises is when people lack communication skills. That's when the issues begin. That's when the bitching and the nagging, the arguing and all of that begins when somebody lacks communication skills and there's nothing wrong with lacking communication skills that does not mean that you're a bad person you just learn how to communicate more effectively like there's nothing wrong with lacking communication skills there are plenty of people in the world who lack communication skills but if you are open and willing to learn and grow then you can effectively communicate with your partner so that you can build a stable foundation versus you know constantly getting into it and going back and forth because somebody triggers you when they're honest with you i don't know maybe this could be something that you dealt with or maybe somebody got triggered at you triggered in regards to you because you spoke the truth or something like that like you speaking the truth trigger somebody or like you being honest with somebody like trigger somebody but i don't know about you but me personally i would prefer to have people around me that are honest with me versus people around me that always agree because they just want to like avoid confrontation or you know don't want to argue or they just don't want to you know be honest you know a lot of people get that confused like being able to communicate being open to listening and understanding is not the same as being like um you know just docile and just agreeing like it's nothing wrong with vocalizing and being honest or you know having a different view or opinion than your partner or this could even be like a friend it's like it's nothing wrong with having a different view or, or opinion but like i said it becomes an issue when you lack communication skills and being open and being able to listen and understand and listen to other people's views perspectives and opinion that's a sign of you know healthy communication skills but like i don't know maybe this is something that you're dealing with or something you dealt with here in the past but like i don't know somebody being honest triggered somebody or somebody's afraid to be honest with somebody here that's what i'm getting what's going on here yeah this could also be in regards to like a relationship i'm getting for some this is in regards to a relationship or there is somebody that like doesn't want their partner like i don't know somebody is in denial in a relationship whoever this individual is like somebody's in denial or something it could be like a constant bickering and arguing going back and forth but it's no communication here it's no communication yep this could be in regards to a masculine energy i don't know i could be speaking to a masculine energy you could be dealing with a masculine energy you know take it how it resonates but whatever's going on here like what's going on here Okay, so there is a masculine energy that's constantly trying to work on something with somebody, but he's met with this energy. So he's constantly trying to work on something with somebody, but he's met with a two of swords energy. It's like, it's a lot of bitching and arguing. You know, uh, roles can be reversed here as well. This could be a feminine energy. Like maybe there's somebody that does not like to take accountability in a relationship. So whenever this individual speaks the truth in regards to their lover's behavior, their lover gets guarded and then deflects or something like that. That's what I'm getting here does not want to take accountability for oh wow this could be a masculine energy that does not want to take accountability for how he is treating a feminine energy in a relationship or maybe this is like a relationship that you were in in the past with somebody that like you are honest with this masculine energy in regards to his behavior in a relationship but he would deflect that's what i'm getting like constantly to the point why well, i'm getting to the point that you just couldn't deal with it so maybe this is somebody that you broke up with here you broke up with this person what's going on here i'm not gonna make this very long the energy is already off this morning i don't know what's going on yeah um it's like whoever this masculine energy is he really wants to be with you here as well 
he really wants to be with you, but it's just like, I don't know. You know what I'm really getting? And I've been getting this energy in uh, readings. You show somebody how to treat you. You don't keep putting up with the same treatment. You don't keep putting up with the same thing. And, you know, feel like you're putting your foot down like, no, there comes a time where you got to put your foot down and move on because men will test you. They will test you to see what you're going to accept, how, what kind of treatment you're going to accept. Are you going to stand up for yourself or are you going to continue to allow this person, you know, to do you any kind of way? Because for some, you could have been in a relationship. He was testing you to see what he could get away with doing to you. And he knew full well how he was treating you in a relationship. Maybe this man was playing dumb or something like that. He's not dumb. He's very intelligent. He knew full well how he was treating you in a relationship. It's just that you were not standing up for yourself. You kept allowing him. You kept enabling him and allowing this man to disrespect you or something like that. And then like you were trying to talk it through or talk it out. And it's like he really wasn't hearing or didn't want to really communicate because he was testing you the whole time because he knew how he tr was treating you was wrong. That's what I'm getting. He knew what he was doing to you was wrong. Like you're the only one that didn't know that this man knew that he was doing you wrong or treating you wrong in a relationship. But this man was testing you to see what he could get away with doing to you. And I'm really getting this man did this to the wrong person. Like he did this to somebody that's an empress or an earth angel. But at the time, you didn't see your light. You didn't see your value. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. So that's what this is. Now you see a light. Now you see a worth. Now you see your value. And it's like you're moving forward. But this man really wants to connect with you here. So you got a masculine energy that like wants you back or something. Whoever this masculine energy is. Yeah. He wants to make a move towards you. Give me just a second. I'm getting. I'm sorry about that. I'm getting whoever this man is. He wants to come in and appreciate you now. But it's just like you could be guarded towards him. Because like I said, you show people how to treat you. So it's kind of like you don't really trust connecting with this man. That's what I'm getting here. But he does want to make a move towards you and connect with you. Yeah, he's watching you. He's watching you. You got a masculine energy that's watching you. This individual is missing you and missing your energy. He wants to work on a situation or try to connect with you. But I'm getting like at the same time you're guarded. So that could be what this is. Like I said, I was getting that somebody was like being met with some two of swords energy. So it could be this masculine energy that's being met with this two of swords energy from you. That's what I'm getting because you're guarded and you don't want to work on anything with him. That's what I'm getting. Or you don't want to be with him or you just don't want anybody back from your past. You were you were dealing with this masculine energy when you was unhealed and it just gave like validate me. Like it's like you were seeking validation. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting you fully or aware of all of this. Whoever you are, you're doing the healing work. It does not make you feel insecure knowing this about yourself. That's what I'm getting. Like you're grounded in who you are now. But in the past, you know that you were in this energy of like allowing other people to, you know, seemingly validate you. But now you are more like self-validated. You don't seek validation from anybody outside of you. That's what I'm getting here. But at the same time, you are aware you don't want to go back towards the past. It's like you don't want to deal with somebody that didn't treat you right here in the past. That's what I'm getting. But at the same time, I'm getting like you understand that you were in some, could have been in some codependent energy here in the past or something like that. It's like you're coming up out of this energy. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, this could be a king of wands here that you dealt with here as well. It's like the way this man was handling you. You know, I don't know. He could have been even like borderline disrespectful or something like that. That's what I'm getting. He could have been borderline disrespectful towards you or something. It's just like something that you tolerated. You knew that you should have tolerated it. You knew that you should not have allowed it. And so now, like I said, this person's one to connect with you, but you're guarded. You're guarded. It's like, no, because while you know that this man... Like, he only knows how to deal with you from the past version of you that he was dealing with. That's what I'm getting here. 
uh this king of pentacles king of wands energy this person could have been a player maybe this person had options or this person was just playing with you and playing with your emotions and you allow whoever this individual is like to play these games with you while he was out juggling or dealing with somebody else here in the past i don't know whatever you see is it's like you don't want to entertain it now you don't want to entertain it now or you don't want to deal with him now anything else it's not because you don't like this man or you don't have respect for this man. It's just that you already know, you already understand. So it's just like you're kind of guarded like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's like you're moving forward. You're moving away from this King of Wands energy. That's what I'm getting. This could be a fire sign that you're moving away from. A fire sign that has earth highly aspected in his chart. That's what I'm getting. And water. I'm getting some, yeah, he has earth, fire, and water highly aspected in his chart. Whoever this masculine energy is, it's like you're moving forward here. That's what I'm getting. And, you know, roles can be reversed. This could be a masculine energy here that was dealing with a feminine. But I'm really getting this is a feminine energy. Yes, you cannot make this up. This is a feminine energy. This is an empress. This is an empress here. So this is an empress that's like realizing her worth and her value and realizing you show people how to treat you somebody's only going to respect you as much as you respect yourself don't allow somebody to come in and disrespect you don't allow somebody to come in and play games with you string you along you know be non-committal you know wow okay I'm getting love bomb you, tell you everything that you want to hear, you know, from a lover or something like that. Because that could be what happened here. It was like you was connecting with this masculine energy. And like you told, you essentially told this man what you wanted in a partner. And when you did that, this man proceeded to be everything you wanted in a partner. And he refused to do the healing work because you would allow him to do the bare minimum in regards to you. That's what I'm getting. Like he was comfortable because it's like you were not putting up boundaries. You were not, you know, standing up for yourself in a relationship. Essentially, you were like enabling this man. You was en enabling this man's toxic behavior towards you. It's like, yes, it's nothing wrong with being an empath. It's nothing wrong with, you know, being understanding and listening. That is a sign, like I said, of healthy communication. But this man was taking advantage of that. This man was taking advantage of your good nature. And it's like you were trying to effectively communicate with this man, be open with this man. And he was using that to get over and not, you know, I'm getting he was not addressing how he was treating you he was not like he knew he was doing a bare minimum it's like he knew that you deserve somebody that would fully invest in you in a relationship but he wasn't gonna do it because you was not you was not challenging this man to do it or you was not making this man do it it's like you were just entertaining or allowing him like i said to not fully invest in you love bomb you play mind games with you he was testing you to see if you would allow him to be karmic and toxic in a relationship. And you allowed this man to be karmic and toxic towards you in a relationship. Is what I'm getting here. But I'm getting you're not in this energy anymore. Yeah. You're not in this energy anymore. It's like, you know, this man also, I don't know. He's realizing that he didn't value you um you're an empress you're a divine feminine but you weren't seeing your light in the past you weren't seeing your value here in the past is what i'm getting he also finds this very attractive here as well like he's realizing now yeah you got somebody from your past that's realizing that he left the empress out in the cold by not seeing your value and your worth not appreciating you not fully investing in you you know just doing the bare minimum or whatever it is or I'm getting less than a bare minimum. It's like, and you did not, it's like you just allow him to do, do this. But now that he sees you're more confident, you speak up for yourself, you stand your ground. He finds this very attractive, but I'm getting, you don't want to deal with him because of how he handled you in the past. 
and the energy that you were in towards him in the past. It's not just him. You know, it's you too. The way that you were, you know, enabling this man and allowing this man to handle you in such a disrespectful manner. Like, you see that. You see that. I'm really getting this man could be watching you online here or something. He's watching you online. It's like when you broke up with him or when you stopped dealing with him, he watched your whole life transform and you stand in this new energy. He watched you heal and move forward. And he could be watching while well, I'm getting your spiritual based practice or he's watching your social media profiles or he's just like he's holding on to your energy and he wishes that he would have treated you better. But it's like maybe wow maybe you already know that you what happened in this connection or what happened when you was dealing with this masculine energy it maybe it um it's like you don't you know that it would not be wise to connect with this masculine and you can have a lot of love for him but you know something would not be you know it would not be healthy a healthy connection healthy relationship because this man only knows how to deal with a past version of you or something like that here yeah so I'm getting like you're moving forward. Okay, I'm going to get you some advice and then I'm going to end it. Okay, Spirit, what advice do you have here? I'm telling you, the energy this morning is just... You cannot make this up. Live your soul, not your role. It's like maybe this man was trying to get you to like submit to him or trying to force you to submit to him. And I got that energy in previous readings. It's like this man wanted you to submit to him without, like he wasn't even investing in you. He was doing a bare minimum. Like, I don't know, this man might have felt like you was, um, it's like you're an empath, but he felt like you was gullible and naive. He knew what he was doing. Like he knew whoever this masculine energy is that you were in a relationship with. This man knew that he was doing a bare minimum in regards to a connection with you. He knew this. He knew it. It's like he was playing games with you. He was playing games. He acted like he wanted to grow with you. He wanted to build with you. But really this man was just like. You was enabling his toxic behavior and he knows that. And now you know that or you see that. That's what I'm getting. Like this man really wanted you. I don't know. He wanted you to submit to him and play some type of role or something like that. While I'm getting play house or something. Yeah, like no. You took your power back. Yeah, embrace your power. You took your power back. It's like, wow, it's not meant for you to be wow it's meant for you to be in a leadership role or it's like meant for you to be you're not meant to live in somebody's shadow so take that how it resonates maybe this man could have been competitive or felt like you was competition he felt like he had to keep you like he had to i'm getting either knock you off your high horse or he had to keep you i don't know he was you was dating somebody that could have been competitive in regards to you. It's like you were always meant for your light to shine. And you are always meant for, like you were meant to be a boss, meant to be a leader. You could not be that with him because that intimidated him. That's what this is. You standing in your power. Like if you were actually to stand in your power and the energy that you're in now, back when you was in a relationship with this man, this man would have tried to destroy you because that intimidated him. That's what I'm getting. This is why this man would treat you in a relationship because you actually standing in your power. It kind of intimidated this man. That's what I'm getting because he felt like he was not going to be able to like, wow. He wasn't going to be able to like uh, control you. That's what I'm getting here in a relationship. That's what I'm getting. Like if you knew your power when you was in a relationship with him. This is somebody that you were in a relationship with. This is somebody that you dated or you were in some type of relationship with. Or maybe even talking to this person. For some I'm getting this is somebody you dated for a long period of time. And this is why he never fully invested in you. Because, like, he was playing games here. He felt like you was naive. Yep, raise your vibrations. But this is what you did. You, like, 
while you're going through a spiritual awakening, spiritual ascension, uh, you're growing, you're elevating. That's what you yeah, face your adversities. Um, there's a lot that you experience here in life in general. It could even be like you dealt with some things after you broke up with this man. But everything you dealt with like made you stronger. It helped you take your power back. And now you're in a leadership role and this man is shocked. So for some, this man is shocked that you're in a leadership role here because you could have been somebody that was always quiet, always shy, always docile. Like now you speak up, you're not enabling anybody. And it's like, yeah, you understand healthy communication, but at the same time, you understand that like, it's like you're not enabling anybody. Whoever you're dealing with, you're honest or whoever you're going to go on to deal with, you're going to be open, honest, but also in regards to yourself. You're not enabling yourself because you're not allowing anybody to disrespect you. You're not allowing anybody to, you know, try to take you for granted. You're not overextending yourself and filling up somebody's cup when that person is not filling up your cup. It's like you're matching energy now. It doesn't matter who you're dealing with here. It's like you elevated here. That's what I'm getting. You elevated. Um, you have options or you're going to have options. Um, yeah, somebody from your past is... Somebody from your past that you had an unhealthy connection with is still in love with you. And wishing that he would have treated you better. And wishing that... But like I said, this man tested you because that's what men do. That's what men do. And sometimes, you know... There's nothing wrong with being loving, compassionate, but at the same time, and empathetic, but at the same time, you got to know when somebody's trying to, you know, play you and get over and, you know, that's what he was doing. That's what he was doing to you because it's like you allow him to do this. That's what I'm getting here, but not anymore. You're taking your power back. But I'm going to end it there. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you.